Right then, mongrels. Welcome to part two of Filter Fork, where we're gonna be cooking the rabbit that we caught yesterday. First off, I'll just show you the rabbit. As you can see here, we've got the loin, two back legs, two front legs, liver, kidneys. Now normally with the liver and kidneys, we use those to help beef up the stock a bit. No need to do that today as I've got stock cubes and port and things like that. They're gonna be going to the ferrets because they worked bloody hard for them. The reason why I quarter my rabbits rather than just sling everything in whole is that the scent glands on a rabbit, obviously where it's bum hole used to be, if they're left in, it can give a funny taste. So if you cut the legs off and butcher it properly, you don't have that issue. Anyway, let's have a quick look at the ingredients. Inside the big pot, I've just got onions, carrots, carrot skin, a bit of potato, a bit of swede. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of sage. Not a lot, just a little. Bit of black pepper. A little bit of salt. Now the good thing is with this recipe is that although I'm making pasties today, should have mentioned that beforehand, the starting off of the rabbit is always the same for me, be it a stew, a pie, pasties, um, because you need to get the meat to fall off of the bone and be nice and tender. We're gonna make a lovely stock there with the veg and the rabbit and we'll go from there. So. Vegetables all seasoned. The loin of the rabbit has had the silver skin taken off. Has have the legs. So we'll put all of that in. Add the stock cubes. These are chicken stock cubes because what you will find is the meat most like rabbit is chicken. Get in there you cow son. And the most important ingredient Purely because I like pork. A little splash just to sweeten it up a little bit. We can add more later. So now what I'm gonna do is fill that until the rabbit is covered. Let it simmer for anywhere between an hour and a half and three hours. I like to leave mine, give or take two and a half, three hours. Just makes the rabbit a lot softer. In here is the other ingredients for the pasties. You've got carrot, swede, and potato. I'll also be frying off some onion to go in with it. We'll pepper that and you'll see all that bit later. So yeah, let's get this on the hob. As you can see, we've put the liquid in now just to cover the rabbit. Uh, we'll cook this now for about hour and a half to three hours. I'm gonna go nearer the three hour mark. Remove the meat, strain off all of the veg, the old veg, Thicken the sauce and that'll be the sauce that goes in the pasties. Into the steamer go the carrots, swede and potatoes. Uh, two potatoes, three decent sized carrots and half a swede. And I'm going to steam them for about 7 minutes 12 seconds. Why 7 minutes 12 seconds? Because I'm a knobhead. Uh, just need a little bit of bite left on them for when they go inside the pasties. But prepare them beforehand and you're laughing. So as you can see, the meat is fully cooked all the way through. I'm now going to run this through the strainer, collect the sauce in a saucepan below the strainer, separate the meat, let it cool down a bit before I strip it from the bone. That then will get added to the uh, potatoes and that that I made earlier. We'll reduce the sauce, add a bit of flour, thicken it up a bit and add a bit more pork. And then we'll put it into some pastry and whack it in the oven. So, as you can see, we've got the sauce here, ready to be thickened. I've given it a taste test, there's nothing more needs adding to it. 
as you can see with the meat on the bone just all pulls apart so I'll carry on doing that and then add it to the veg Onions go in. The rabbit goes in. mix could have done with a bigger bowl healthy dab of pepper I know it's messy but it's all good eating. You don't get fresher than that. Alright. I'll let that sit for a while while I go and salt out the sauce. Right, I'm just bringing the sauce back up to a boil and then I'm going to start adding some plain flour just to thicken it a tad. It is worth noting as well that this could actually be my last meal because when my good lady sees the state of this kitchen there will be there'll be a murder with a turkey burger. Right. Oh, and I've now added flour into the problem. I don't think for a second this is how you meant to do it. Although I do have man boobs, I'm no Delia Smith. I suppose also I have Jamie Oliver's lips. Wibble! Oh, yeah, lumpy. Right, I'll stir this lot in and I'll bring you back when it ain't quite so vile. As you can see, that is starting to thicken up nicely. A couple more minutes. And then, all we got to do is assemble our pasties and get them in the oven. Right then, let's show you how to put these things together. Quite simple. You get a load of meat and veg. A couple of spoonfuls of the gravy. Get yourself a little bit of milk wash around the outside it's a little bit warm in here for this pastry to be honest with you fold it over give her a little flip Pick her up, place her down, score, 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 boosh, on our call the kids to go knock up some more.
Right, so the oven is pre-warming. We have got some pasties to go in. George, mm -hmm. you help me catch it, you help me prepare it, and you've helped me cook it. You have had a bit to do with every single part of that meal. How does it feel? Good. Is it tasty? Very. Sheephead. Right, I'm gonna whack them in now. They need to go in for about 10 to 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Yeah. And then we'll eat, eat like kings. So you've just got the mix and the gravy in that bowl of you. How's it taste? I love it. Okay. You're eating vegetables and rabbit. Mm -hmm. What have you done with my child? First batch done. Second batch in the oven. Get in my belly. Now I know there was no measurements or quantities of anything, but it's home cooking, isn't it? If you stuck around this long, thanks for watching. If you're interested in any more of this sort of stuff, let me know. Ta-ra!